So the question we will answer at the end of this video is, should we have taken Teddy, our Border Terrier, over Striding Edge? <laughs> Hello and welcome to this week's uh, episode. So this week we've decided to climb Helvellyn. We've done it before, but this time we're going to take a 10 mile route, uh, starting at Glenridden Car Park and climbing up via Burkehouse Moor over the very scary striding edge to the summit of Helvellyn. And then the route back down via Lower Man, Whiteside, Rays, and then turning back down uh, via Styx Pass into Glen Redding Beck and finally down back into Glen Redding where we started. Hope you enjoy. So here we are driving um, just past Pooley Bridge um, and we're just coming along to Lake Oldswater which you can see on my left hand side. The starting point for our circular walk to Helvellyn was the Glenridding car park. It costs £8 per day. Trying to get some breakfast before we do our big hike. And we're not allowed in with Teddy, which I'm quite surprised with it being the Lake District. Mm. It's a gentle stroll through the village, but once you get out of the village, then the climbing begins. So we are halfway up towards Birkhead Moor on our way up Helvellyn. And Julie stopped for a sandwich. I had mine before we started. And you can see from here, it's amazing, even with the cloud cover. Heading up that way. Walking again up. As Andy said, we've probably gone a mile by now got another two to go to get to the top gorgeous sights weather good for walking Ooh, look at that look at that well, that's where we're going So here we are, um, we can see Helvellyn ahead of us and Striding Edge on the left and Swirrel Edge on the right. So these are cairns and you find them all the way up. There's one here and uh, you can see one ahead of Andy there. We can now see Striding Edge in front of us. So Striding Edge is a famous narrow ridge on the eastern side of Helvellyn, one of the highest peaks in the Lake District. It's known for its dramatic and challenging terrain. We did ask Julie's father, who used to be in Fell Rescue, whether or not it was a good idea to take Teddy over Striding Edge, and he said it was no bother, lad. Um, not so sure, to be honest. Just that far behind, he's all... Andy had to help a family down um, at the top of a particularly challenging descent. Just turn around and just face. That was scary up there. To be able to swivel so on your high. Right, on your right heel on that rock. <sighs> Adrenaline going now. <laughs> that was a bit scary. <laughs> <laughs> Um. I'm a bit scared. <laughs> I have to say that was quite scary coming up there, particularly with Teddy. We did know it wasn't particularly dog friend, but manageable, I think, with a small dog. Anyway, we're here. Uh, only a bit more to go now and then we'll be 
We'll be right at the top. I'll just turn around to show the view we've done that. No, I haven't. No, hang on. Look at that. We're okay. not at the top yet. Still got a bit to go. Well, not that far. There's the top. Woohoo! I'll be doing a little happy dance when we get to the top. <laughs> Helvellyn is 950 metres high, or in old money, 3,116 feet, making it the second highest peak in England. So we have decided not to do a squirrel edge, taking a longer route. Well, we've done that before anyway, haven't we? So. We have. Um, through, no, um, and should be easier okay. with Teddy. Going up there. Yeah. And then along that path that you're there. Yeah. Up over the top and yeah. then back round. Oh, yeah, that. Once you get to the top of Helvellyn, you can see Ulls Water to the northeast, but to the west you can see Thirlmere, which is the lake you can see here. We've come down that, and then we've just come down here. <laughs> wanted to go out again. And there we can see Lake Hall's water in the valley. Oh, yet again, another type of terrain. Lots of heather around. Some quite pretty purple flowers as well. Reading. About a nine hour and a half mile circular, seven hours to do that. Come on, Teddy. And after a fab hike, back in the car and back to Dad's. Hi. Hi. And welcome back. I hope you enjoyed our video of Helvellyn and going across Riding Edge. We've got to now answer that question, haven't we? Should we have taken Teddy, our Border Terrier? And I think the answer to that is, as he's a small dog and I was able to carry him under my arm, uh, the answer is yes, with caution. Uh, if you couldn't do that, then uh, probably the answer is no. And I suppose I just need to add a caveat is uh, you've probably heard me say scared about five times. If I had done that walk on my own, I most certainly couldn't have got across myself and, and with Teddy. That would have been one step too far. No, no. And just a, a final thing, just a big shout out to All Trails, which is a bit like Google Maps for hiking, something that we've used on this trek, but also um, throughout from Colombia to the Caribbean. Uh, there'll be a link in the description below. See you next time. See you next time.